How's it going guys? I'm Danny the Traveler and this is Rocky the Traveler and welcome to a new episode of the Rocky Roadshow. We're finally back in England as you can tell by these beautiful uh, English curtains and um, we've just returned from spending a few months with family in Florida, life of a remote worker. I'm currently hunting for a flat here in the UK. I'm not sure where yet. I'm thinking maybe Cardiff, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see. So in the meantime, I decided to chill out and find a place uh, by the beach that was inexpensive. And really the first one that showed up when I searched for holiday rentals was Hemsby, a tiny little seaside town in the Norfolk region of England. So I booked a chalet here and we're gonna explore a bit of our surroundings. And today, we're gonna try to find a place to eat fish and chips because I'm hungry and I'm craving that. Though I don't think we're gonna find anything around here in this low season, but let's try to find out. Having taken a walk earlier in the week, I can tell you it's quite a long shot as there's not even that many people floating around here. So here's a quick tour of our chalet, or chalet. It's quite small, but big enough for one man and his dog. Rocky, who's a good boy? After a day of doing some work, it was time for fish and chips. The chalet park we were staying in was completely vacant. So I just finished work now. Uh, if you're wondering what I do, I'm a finance journalist. I work from home, which is pretty cool. It's a nice gig and uh, it allows me to spend a lot of time with Rocky, which, uh, which is awesome. And our adventures in the UK are brought to you by this little wagon, which takes us all over the place. Good old reliable, so far. So now I'll give you a tour of the town during this off season while also keeping my eye open for fish and chips. This is a bit of a day in the life of, as usually with work, I finish and then I do a bit of exploring around the new town with Rocky and I also take some photos. Now this spot was closed, unfortunately. Another closed spot. But we did find a little treasure, a go-kart track. go-karts to be found. What a shame, as Rocky really loves to get in cars and go-karts too. You can almost imagine the cars racing by here during peak summer season. And 
empty golf courses. I really don't think we're gonna find any open fish and chips place, and I'm really hungry for it. It is lunchtime after all. But wait a minute, could it be? The blue dolphin sounds cool, but I was right, it was shut. We kept on walking and saw signs of life that were getting ready for the upcoming busy season. There's just something about these abandoned, low-season towns. It's quiet, yet the beauty still remains, and of course the costs aren't sky-high for accommodation, and I feel more free to explore. Another cafe doesn't look open, but let's have a peek. Wow, where do people around here go if they're hungry? There's got to be something. Well, the uh, chairs are all up inside, so I don't think they're open. Along the way, we found another empty go-kart track. But we can now smell the beach from here. And yet another closed one. I don't know how many that is now. Maybe we should have come a little bit later in the year. But then of course, the prices wouldn't be so low. Here we are, the beautiful Hemsby Beach, a long way from where we were just last week in Florida, which is pretty cool if you think about it. I gotta say, I know it looks gray now, but it's still nice to visit a beach and see that no one else is here. Usually, I let Rocky go on a long leash, but I forgot it today. Sometimes, I let Rocky off the leash if it's an enclosed dog beach or something similar. But he doesn't always come back when I call him, so I kept the leash here. But he very much enjoys rolling around the sand and running alongside me. But if we find an enclosed area, I can definitely let him off. had a bit of fun running around, and sometimes he'll even chase a ball or two. At the beach, I really like to reflect, and I like to give gratitude on how lucky we are to be able to travel across the UK and Europe. We've come a long way from Florida to here, in a random seaside town in England. It's quite crazy to me that I've become this dog nomad. But it's awesome. I wouldn't have it any other way. I typically walk Rocky for an hour or two after work, but today, since we were at the beach, I wanted to give him some more time. We took a bit of a breather and kept walking on. What is that? I think this is a way to get back into town. Well, it was a nice, long, unexpected detour, and we ended up coming full circle at the other end of Hemsby Beach. 
Still no dice on any restaurants being open, much less a fish and chips place. Looks like a pretty empty pub. So, uh... A closed pub in the daytime. I couldn't believe it, and it wasn't even that late in the day. Looks like we're gonna turn back now and see if by any luck there was a cafe or a shop open. I think this is the closest to Stonehenge that we'll ever get with Rocky. We charged on, our hunger building to desperate levels. Surely there's gotta be at least one place here that's open for food. This looks cool but it's closed. Now I felt that the town was almost mocking us. restaurants are closed here but I've been told that this Friday which is um, the end of March I don't know what date um, everything starts to open so that would be really cool as the day went on the weather got clearer and I saw a few people out and about which gave me some hope the casinos and all the games were open too surely people get hungry after playing games right For some reason, Rocky led me to this creepy looking cartoon, and he decided to hop right in with him. He also wanted to go on a ride. Come on boy, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I was tempted to play a few games, but at the end, we walked back to the chalet, still with empty bellies, but at least it was a nice little adventure for Rocky. After a long walk like this, Rocky is usually pooped out and I'll give him some snacks. As for me, I still gotta figure out my fish and chips situation, but I'll have some tea first and look at the photos we took in Hemsby. So today I'm gonna go over some of the awesome photos I took and, um, and post the ones that I like the best and you know, maybe Rocky will give me a paw and tell me which ones he likes the best. Thanks Rocky, you're so helpful. Thanks for checking a bit of our holiday time here with me and Rocky. Um, for the rest of today, I think we're gonna try to find a takeout. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to prioritize the, uh, the fish and chips and see if there's anything within a, a 20 mile radius. So, uh, fingers crossed. But thanks again for checking us out. If you like the video, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more adventures.